right, we're at the vet, and what are we doing, RJ? Yeah, Caballo here. Okay, and what's wrong with Caballo? He's got a little bump on his leg you're gonna look at. Okay, and it's called what? I think it's proud flesh. It, it is, the vet, just say, it, it is proud flesh, it's been confirmed, and they're going to remove it, correct? Yep. Comes from an old injury, sometimes it just does that, right? Yep. So we're not gonna show it being removed. But it's right here. We had put um, some stuff on it. That's the crusty on it, right? Called Wonder Dust. And that just didn't do the trick. So Doc's going to remove it. And then he'll just have a little sore. And we doctor the sore, right? Yep. All right. It's so a rundown on what proud flesh is. How, how does it happen? And what is it? I know it's common. Okay. This um, lesion that we're looking at here mm -hmm. uh, is one of a couple different things. It is either a proud flesh, which is a... Uh, a body's um, reaction to a wound in which the dermis, the underlying connective tissue, grow rapidly to cover a wound. If this is not that, then it would be one of two other things. It would be a sarcoid, which is a viral tumor, or a papilloma uh, viral tumor. So it's one of those three things. But we're going to cut this off today so that um, we can at least uh, treat it as proud flesh and, and see how it responds to treatment. Okay, and that'll alleviate that'll or tell alleviate. us which one it is, correct? That'll alleviate um, by just the, the way it reacts. If it doesn't come back with treatment, we'll know that it was a uh, proud flesh. Okay.